in this video we will discuss about burgers we have already seen what you mean by burgers vector so this give you the magnitude and direction of slip direction of slip so there is another way of looking at this uh, burgers vector and that is called burgers circuit let us understand what you mean by that so here i have taken the front plane of uh, a crystal so it would be like this here uh, so this will be like this these are the various planes of atoms so let me uh, start the circuit from here that is start here so i am going in the right direction one two uh, let me drop this off So we uh, have gone like this. So this is I have moved one, two, three, four, five, and downward also I have moved one, two, three, four, five. So that is equal to one, two, three, four, five. And left side since I have moved right uh, five, so I will move uh, five position towards left. So this okay, this is one, two, three. Five. Similarly, I will move up. That is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see that I started here. Um, so this I have started here, and I have finished here. So the Burgers circuit. Let us call this like that. So the Burgers circuit. Uh, just closed okay it reached the initial position itself now let us draw the burgers circuit around an imperfection so here you have a real crystal with a dislocation you can see here uh, there is a dislocation here you have a uh, bottom edge of this extra half plane is missing so there is a dislocation here now uh, let us draw from here but let us draw the burgers circuit around the dislocation so this is start. So I move from one, two, three, four, five, and uh, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is one, two, three, four, uh, five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So then it's here one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I move up one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I reached the finish, finishing position. You can see that there is a gap between the start and the finish. So uh, I will draw this gap. So, and this gap is the closure failure. This is denoted by the Burgers width. So what you can see here is that a closed burger circuit around a this circuit in a perfect crystal. fails to close around a dislocation line. A dislocation line. This closure failure, closure failure is uh, denoted by that is finished to pass. Start. And this is the burgers vector. 
So this is another way of looking at the Burgers vector. Uh, now let us uh, look at the convention for the Burgers vector. Burgers vector. So here you can see that if I draw a dislocation line like this, that is uh, tangent vector E is T or the tangent uh, T. And uh, I take the right hand thumb in direction of t okay. uh, so if you if i close my fingers around thumb and these fingers so the fingers uh, will point in the direction of the burgers vector direction of burgers vector Okay, so this is the convention we follow, but if you take the direction in the, see, usually we take uh, the dislocation line in the direction of the thumb, right hand thumb. So this is a right hand circuit with thumb pointing in the direction of the tangent vector. Okay, so this is the convention for the Burgers vector. So this is another way of finding the Burgers vector. In addition, uh, you can also get it through the slip uh, way. So this is Burgers vector is another way of approaching it.